listeners, dear friends, welcome to the very first episode of the Eight Under the Sun podcast. That sounds talk, very official. Very official. Where we talk about all things guitar. My name is Sebastian, and here I'm with Florian. Hi. Francisco. Hello. Behind the cameras, we have Elise. Hello. And we are joined by the one and only Judical Perrois. <laughs> <laughs> so today we want to talk about two main topics well the first one is the relationship that the guitar world has to the piano world and the second one is social media and competitions within the context of forming a career as a guitarist now in 2024 so we're going to start off with the first topic, which is the relationship that the guitar has with the piano world. We have, we all have a very interesting relationship with the piano and especially you. I think that a lot of your playing is inspired by pianistic gestures and uh, musicality that we have learned from the piano world. And actually you have a lot of CDs of piano. Yes. yes. Is it the the thing that you listen the most? Oh yes. Yeah. From far. From far. Yeah, yeah. From very far. So, most piano. Would you say like ninety percent of what you are listening to when you are at home? Ninety-four. Ninety-four. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Be precise. Enough, yeah. Be spe very specific. No, I mean, yeah, ninety. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And so, how does it affect your the way you play the guitar? I mean, it's just a. Uh, uh, the way it started is when I was probably uh, 13, 14, something like this. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to listen a lot of guitar. Uh, so all the, the, you know, the people who were very known uh, 35 years ago, 36 years ago, I was listening to them. And uh, one day, just by chance, I had a free ticket to see a concert in Paris. Uh, one concert of, from the integral of Chopin by Nikita Magalov. It's uh, actually he was a teacher in uh, in Geneva during many oh, years. Oh yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. he was a teacher in the Conservatory of Geneva. He was a very famous player, that is and he was also a teacher in Geneva. Uh, Nikita nice story. Magalov. Yeah. And I saw him. He was giving like seven concerts in one year, playing all Chopin, including the pieces that people don't play. The people just play okay. in the integral. For example, Sonata Number no. One. People okay. play just Number Two and Number Three, but Number One is not played. So he was even playing this, and that's how I discover. And uh, I don't know, uh, I have listened before my 14, 15, a lot of guitar. And, and when I started to listen uh, piano, it was like something new, something fresh. I was a, a little bit uh, less uh, uh, careful about my judgment because I knew much less. So it was really very nice at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I start to, you know, to listen more and more. And uh, after that, when I start to, to have some money, uh, when I start to have a, to get a job, I, I start to buy uh, CDs when they were mm. very expensive. At this time, they were still very expensive. Now yeah. it's very cheap. No. Yeah. And that's how it uh, it was super important for me. And after that, I can't really say how directly it affect uh, my, 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 my way of playing, but it's totally integra integrated to me. Okay. So it's it's so integrated that it's it's very difficult to to really say uh, in which field precisely. And it would be very difficult for you to say at one point, um, I mean, now to say when uh, you were uh, like 15, if, how technically you, you did change actually from yeah, this. I, 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 it's very difficult. I, I guess everybody who's playing music has his own uh, way to, to arrive to the music. Mm -hmm. So me, I had a way when I was like a kid, seven, eight, and after that, my second way was through the piano. Yeah. Uh, some people, I mean, on the past, for example, the, the older generation, a lot of them, they arrive to the guitar because they listen to pop music, you know, and that's how they write to the yeah, guitar. So you have some actually, people like yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Now, much, much less because a lot of people start when they're very young. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so my way, my, my second way was because of the piano. Okay. Yeah, so you... you now you feel that you you're playing i mean you play a lot of piano repertoire into music a bit. Uh, i mean yeah. you did uh, transcriptions or yeah. did uh, the the one that antoine uh, fougeret published yeah so um you is it uh, maybe and for other guitarists for example uh, uh, seb uh, with josh uh, alice uh, with maya in their uh, dania duo and uh, blue band duo they are very interested in the piano repertoire actually 
they they look for it's a I mean new ideas new pieces to play it's a new way to 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 play the guitar now so um, yeah so do you feel that it should go more into it or uh, not, not no? really i mean actually the guitar was all the time like this because if you think about the first transcription it was albanese granada or something mm -hmm. Those yeah. composers, and they are exactly. piano pieces yeah so it, it's not really very new or oh, scarlatti i mean scarlatti is uh, absicord but you know absicord piano so yeah. uh, even uh, you know Se segovia was playing a lot of uh, was playing some scarlatti was playing albanese was playing but, but i meant that they were maybe playing all the same pieces for a long time maybe no Uh, isn't it, it? Uh, actually not really because not uh, really? Okay. Uh, I, i mean it's a little bit like and of course now there are much more people who play the guitar more country involved so there is a bigger d d diversity but uh, if you see actually tariga did a lot of different transcription of piano pieces actually uh Yobet did that uh Uh, there's some other name uh, Barrios did himself mm -hmm. yeah uh, so so it's something very very old i mean um okay the piano has a huge repertory And probably among all the other instruments, the guitar is one of the only who can steal some pieces from the piano because we, uh, most of the other instruments, uh, it, it would be too problematic because they can't play as yeah. many notes at the same time that yeah. we can do. It's because they are an harmonic instrument. Right? Yeah, yeah. The, exactly. <laughs> so you, you have some experience. For example, uh, there is this, uh, uh, two, two, two days ago, I've seen a violin concert and it was uh, Leonid Cavacos and he played for example one piece uh, for encore sometimes not this time but he played mm -hmm. one piece for guitar which is the Recuerdos yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and that's really one of the maximum can a violinist can do yeah, it's very him, it looks very difficult even uh, amazing Ma Barrios recently I listened to which, which yes, piece time, uh, time. Uh, but yeah. the, the, yeah. let's say the, the Alhambra is one of yeah. the pieces that can and be played and that sounds quite not difficult. nice yeah, difficult yeah. Yeah. he played as an encore if I recall Yeah, 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 no, they, they, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's very that's difficult. <laughs> But I, I wanted to say that <clears throat> in a way, piano it's maybe the, the the best way for a guitarist now, or the the, the way they, they they seek the most to to have new repertoire. I mean, doing new transcriptions of pieces that are before they're not played because it's difficult. The level is getting higher and higher, and some way. I can kind of feel that some guitarists try to to play yeah. piano pieces, and it's uh, oh, is it possible to play this piece? And it's interesting to see the new transcriptions of new yeah. pieces that we thought that were out of uh, our reach, maybe, yeah. especially yeah. with with duo, actually. With duo, yeah. and also in solo, for example, uh, I heard uh, there is two people who played the uh, Alborada del Gracioso, yeah, uh, which looks totally impossible if you really think uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the two guys the, the one who did transcription is Koki Fujimoto it's a Japanese young okay. Japanese player he's maybe 30 and uh, there is a European play player Filippos Bernardis who's playing also his transcription so this piece for example would have seemed totally unplayable on guitar and it really worked of course there is all the time a limit and after that I mean you know for example when you hear in violin the, the prelude by Rachmaninoff uh, that actually I play also but on the violin it's it's very it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit strange to to do that but it, it was all the time part of the game mm -hmm. for the for the instrument to push their limit you yeah. have that with on the piano actually yeah. with the orchestra stuff mm -hmm. I mean when you have Liszt who did uh, the Tannhauser Ouverture mm -hmm. it's extremely difficult on the piano it really pushed the limit this is very and interesting it's, yeah. I mean, you could complain that it's not the orchestra. And actually, he did that not just to do it because we don't need the orchestra to listen to music. He really did that because he wanted to do the challenge. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, he did the symphony by Beethoven. It was useful. But the Tannhauser, the Isolt, the death of Isolt, I don't know the title. It's really to make it on the piano mm -hmm. because he liked it. Also to make it spectacular on Tannhauser. Mm -hmm. it's very... So it, it's a game that all the, 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 the instrument are doing with their own abilities yeah i think it. in a way we can say that in a way we could say that basically the well the appearance of new arrangements uh, from pieces that previously we thought they were impossible mm. it's also very related with the level of performance that is rising each day uh, i think in uh, any instrument but uh, in, you can see it on guitar a lot. in all the instruments so, yeah yeah And yeah, but maybe sometimes it's too much, no? Isn't it? it I mean, the guitar sometimes is uh, very fragile uh, as an instrument. We c um, sometimes do. Is it uh, spectacular for the, the 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 audience or the the, the guitarist? So, so it's the the thing that I sometimes wonder. It's very very difficult to know. Yeah. Uh, this I remember. Uh, I've seen a very long time ago. 
uh, okay, I won't say the instrument because I don't want him to recognize himself, but basically it was a Bach suite played by an instrument that is not used to play the Bach. And apparently it was very impressive for the, the other people who were playing the same instrument, but for me it was really unnatural. Mm. So it's it's very difficult to, 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 know, know, yeah. uh, to know that. The, the only thing is, um, for example, me, the pieces I play for the guitar, I don't necessarily choose the, the most famous pieces. Yeah. Or uh, my, my, my friend Antoine Fougeret, who did many on the transcription, he didn't choose the most famous uh, Scabin piece or the most famous Chopin piece. He, he, he will choose most of the time. Uh, the, the pieces that could work for the guitar okay. and uh, I think this could be a good way because it's not that the, the, the piece will be better it's just a new way of thinking the piece so because each, each instrument has its own quality and I think it's possible to find some new point of view when you play with another instrument but it doesn't mean that uh, it has to be done with any pieces it, it really depends on what people want i to mean do. the guitar can offer definitely different things and nicer things for instance yeah. of color you know it's one of the things that i think the guitar can offer with new arrangements right? yeah, yeah it's true piano pieces. and the fact that yeah th there are more and more duos maybe i don't know if it's uh, just my um, the way i see it but uh, there are a lot actually yeah. you, you you have one you i mean Everyone. Almost everyone, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, so um, it can be a it very interesting way to 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 play those pieces that are so complex. Yeah. There's, there's so many, so much polyphonies. Yeah. Seb, as a composer, told told me that if the 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 main difficulty for him for the guitar is to have the melodic um, freedom and. Uh, and then have, having something interesting to do with the the harmonies and and the voices and in a, in a way you find more interesting to play with a duo with your duo partner josh so i do yeah. i mean for me it's very important to maintain the integrity of the of the counterpoint and of each line as i'm playing the the music that's one of the great joys of playing uh in a duo is that you can you don't have to sacrifice the the quality of the writing yeah. but you can play with colors and with vibrato and with singing in ways that f and oftentimes the, and the, the clarity of the text as well when you have uh, middle voices that you want to output maybe in two guitars separation of uh, tasks makes it way easier i guess yeah. yes yeah, it's true yeah because it's so hard to play to to maintain yes, the yeah. <laughs> if you play yeah. 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 yeah 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 so in a way, you, you you see even your future as mostly playing duo. Or? I I absolutely think so. For me, yeah. it's it's uh, very it's very thrilling to to play in a duo. Not only because of the integrity of the music, but also for the sake of doing chamber music. Yeah, it's uh, it changes everything. Um, to have to kind of pull in to push and pull with someone else as you're playing music, and. Uh, this can create some very interesting uh, dynamics that don't exist on the piano because the piano might even be more perfect uh, in terms of maintaining the integrity of the music. Mm -hmm. But then when you have the ensemble, you can play with, uh, I mean, you have two people who are, who are interacting with each other. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, so it helps on the independence of voices. I think this is a big deal, right? Yeah. That's true. Yes, In, yeah. absolutely. It, it it adds something to the to the music to the the original version. Actually, it's maybe the the whole interest about doing a transcription is to add something even more than yeah. just be able to play it because you like the piece. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, the big difference is me. I don't do. I mean, I did just one transcription in my life. He is two times younger than me, and he did ten times more transcription. So. I mean, if somebody can talk about transcription, it's more him than me. Mm -hmm. um, me, I, I, I know some people who can do good transcription. So sometimes I, ha I have asked yeah. uh, people to do transcription. You, do, I mean, you did for the Bach Vivaldi. I did the, just yeah. Bach Vivaldi. Actually. Yeah, and you did with the, the score, uh, the original. Yeah, I mean, I, I did a very long time ago, maybe 30 years ago. And I finished uh, during the COVID. <laughs> uh, when I had a lot but of you already time. played it. Yeah, yeah, I already played and it. And the CD that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. actually, I, yeah. You, you were reading directly from the score, the piano, yeah, the, yeah. the harpsichord I, I, score. I, just, I was reading on the piano score and it was done really like this. And then you didn't, you didn't write it down until later, right? Yes, exactly. I did it uh, just to publish it. To yeah. Publish yeah. It. So this is completely different than the way that we all oh, yes. do transcriptions yes. now. Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, I think there's there's i mean the 
the the concept itself is different you have this idea of like uh summarizing mm -hmm. a, a, a score which is what your your i your idea was and and then you have this idea of like keeping everything keeping everything to can. the absolute maximum yeah in a way that would be absolutely impossible to do if you were reading directly from the piano score mm. and uh this is something that is new because of in large part because of technology because of muse score and, and yeah software and, and software yeah because we have the ability to kind of enter things in change keys read it test exactly. things exactly it's very fast uh, then yeah. writing it yeah you can't hear it before it's for sure easier than us than for that or something <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah actually yes also it, it's also link i must say i mean uh, for my generation um it was the let's say the second big uh, generation of people doing transcription that were uh, barreco david russell when i was mm -hmm. young they were young also <laughs> and they, they they were the youngest who were doing the transcription yeah you know uh, me i was maybe 15 20 and so they were like 40 35 40 and uh, they, they they had a lot of transcription from what we used to have that was coming from Segovia, Yobet, Tariga, blah, blah. So they were doing the transcription. And for me, I mean, among the famous, there were a lot of other people. But for me, for my, my, me and a lot of my colleagues of my age, it was, it has to be done by, not by, by us, because we are too young or we are, oh, don't yeah. know how to mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. And, which uh, notes to keep and which notes you should Yes, have. I mean, it yeah. was like, uh, it was for them. I yeah, mean, I, I remember my, my teacher Alberto Ponce. If I if I brought myself a transcription, he would have say, "But who you are to make a transcription?" Uh, yeah, because you so, wouldn't have the knowledge to to do. I mean, that what I, he I, imagined. Actually, in terms of knowledge, it was exactly the same than people of my age. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. But I mean, but I, not you vision, specifically, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the vision was really like this. So uh, mm. there were much less people who were trying to do transcription because we were just using the one that were published. Yeah, and now I mean. Not everywhere, but I must say that when I start to have, uh, when I start to teach, so it's quite a long time ago, uh, people of 20 years old who are young professional player, I told them, even if I never did myself, I told them, if you want to play that, do the transcription, do the transcription, yeah. do the transcription. So I asked them. So it was exactly the opposite that my teacher would have never let me doing this. And I have two questions. Um, why you don't do um, other, uh, why do you don't do transcriptions actually? And, and, why do you think the the young guitarists of today they, they do it? Uh, so why I don't do it? I uh, I guess it comes from far. It's because somehow I wasn't enough confident to do that when I was younger, and maybe a part of that still. Mm -hmm. Second, there are some but you, people. But you made one. <laughs> yes, but uh, and you made you one just listening. Yes. Uh, yeah, but mine the... was really very easy. I mean, if I compare with some other transcription, it was super easy to do. And uh, second, um, I mean. There's many things I don't do, you know. I don't compose. I don't make transcription. I mean, I feel uh, some other people. We can't do. Are, yeah. the, no, the, it's a question of talent. I, mm -hmm. mean, uh, oh, I, I yeah. could, I could, you know, if I force, I can do transcription. If I force myself, I can compose. But I don't necessarily think it's amazing. It would be okay. very interesting. Mm -hmm. So that's a, also a very good reason for me to don't do it. And also, uh, I'm, I'm teaching a lot. I'm doing. Content. I don't have so much time. Mm -hmm. So I. I prefer to do the thing I'm the most competent, which is probably teaching and playing more than to do transcription. At one point, you just have to make a choice. Yeah, exactly. Do, yeah. Uh, but if one day something come and I think I could do it, but I, now I have really some good friend who can do very good transcription. So, so temptation cool is very <laughs> big <laughs> to ask them. Was there never a moment in uh, your career that like you felt, for instance, to dive a bit into improvisation? There was never a moment like this. No. No, 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 really. I mean, uh, yeah. really not at all. I, I can really notice this because usually when people are teenagers, they, me, I, I really, I mean, when I was a kid, I guess I was listening stuff for kids. But after that, when I start to have nine years old, I just start to listen classical. I was uh, just listening sometimes some, some jazz music to don't be like a, a freak. <laughs> be like, yeah. but I, I I never really I never had really great interest for because for jazz in that time music. you were not a freak when you were listening to jazz at the <laughs> no because in my school there were a lot of people oh, it, yeah. it wasn't okay. a music school but let's say that uh, it was in I don't know very specific neighborhood and a lot of people knew more about jazz and stuff like this yeah. than classical and uh, so I did a little bit just to 
to have friends. <laughs> and uh, like rock but, uh, for now. It would, now yes, it would be rock. But I never had a, gr- a pop really uh, strong interest. On it. <laughs> yes. I have some CDs of not classical, but it's uh, on the right and uh, it's uh, very small. <laughs> and I, it's just I, I have nothing against. Of course, it would be very stupid. I have no doubt that jazz music, flamenco music, or can be as good as uh, classical but, music. I have no yeah. doubt with that. But uh, you find everything my own. You, you like into mm, classical yes, music. Yes, uh, some yeah. people are like this. Yeah. Yeah. And it's even more than that. In my case, I have a lot of pieces in many, many different versions. Yeah. So, uh, for example, uh, sonatas by Beethoven. I don't know how many versions I have. I have maybe 15, 20 with everything. With And you, do, do you listen to them? Uh, I mean, equally? No, of course, I don't listen to all of them equally. There's some I prefer, but uh, yeah. I, I used to, to buy different versions. I was very, okay. uh, I, I was all the time very interested about uh, uh, comparing. Mm-hmm. Um, and and in, my, in my case, it's because I didn't do a lot of uh, theoretical studies. I mean, I didn't do any, in fact. And uh, I build my own knowledge with this comparing mm-hmm. interpretation by myself because I didn't do, I did, I stopped conservatory very young and after that I never read really it. And it, it can explain uh, in some way the fact that you like guitarists playing uh, piano music because you like another version of it. To, to, you like no, to hear no? I, I wouldn't it? say that. No, no I mean, uh, I, I like when the... <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to guess. <laughs> you know, when you teach to students, There's some stuff you teach v- on purpose. I mm-hmm. mean, you, you teach that, and there's some other stuff that maybe the student will come to you more than to another teacher, or the opposite, because they know some stuff. Sometimes what they know is wrong, but it doesn't matter. It creates something when you are when you are known mm-hmm. as a, a little bit as a teacher. Some stuff happened that is not really linked with what you know co- consciously. Okay. So. Yeah. Maybe unconsciously, some people who have tendency to do this kind of transcription. They will go more to, to uh, you know, for example, Carlo Marchion uh, is doing a lot of transcription. So mm-hmm. I guess I'm pretty sure some student might be more open from the beginning about the idea when they go to Carlo. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure of that. I mean, uh, if you like uh, a lot of Boer and modern, if you like a lot of modern music, you will go more to somebody who plays a lot of modern. So there are a lot of things like this. So I guess. If I have some students who are doing this type of thing more than others, it's because they they think they know me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and in fact, you organize it's uh, it's a premiere in uh, Ecole. You invited Antoine Fougeret to give lessons yeah. to your students. Do you see any change um, into the way they work? Do you, you, I mean, uh, for example, Seb and uh, Alice and Maya, the and Josh. Mm-hmm. The, and you actually you too <laughs> i know same, same, i know you same. for less, less but time. less time but uh they already did transcriptions uh, do you did you see uh some changes into students that d- were not used to oh yes i mean of course it's more spectacular for the one who never did it's just me i would say okay you, you can be open to the transcription blah, 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 but my own limitation would be that i don't do it myself mm-hmm. so do what I don't do is all the time more difficult you mm-hmm. know, to say. Yeah. But if they basically they really work, uh, me, I say, okay, you can do transcription, but with Antoine, they will work about some uh, uh, technicity. I don't know if mm-hmm. you can say technicity, some way of doing it. Yeah. It will be much more concrete. He mm-hmm. will know, he will right. show yeah. some, uh, some way to do it, how to choose yeah. the pieces. They will have, yeah. you know, they will have like you can expect. Mm-hmm. from a teacher it's, yeah it's a very concrete uh, yeah. step-by-step yeah. process that exactly that he teaches who by the way is here yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, i mean nobody, we are nobody lucky born as a i mean when you play the guitar you need to learn when you do transcription you need to learn at some point yeah. uh so you know it's he learned by himself mm-hmm. uh still the students will learn a part by themselves But uh, if they have so, uh, help from somebody who has a little, who has more experience, it's a very big help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, okay. and yeah, you have to think about so many things. Actually, there is uh, how many issues, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guitaristic. Uh, I don't know if you can say this uh, issues. There is uh, maybe uh, could a piano or a, a pianist or um, I don't know give lessons like this to a guitarist it's uh, it's so specific that it's very specific yeah. but uh, it could be possible because it might be the same principle basically 
it's a fight between uh, trying to put everything, uh, l'esprit ou la lettre. I don't know how do you say in, in English. I mean, yeah, you can say the spirit of the, the letter, the letter of the law or the spirit of the law. Exactly. Yeah. So this is this. It's mm -hmm. a fight with that. If you try to put the maximum you can do on the guitar, it would be a lot. It would be too difficult most mm -hmm. of the time and you won't be able to play the piece in a way that is enjoyable to listen. Mm -hmm. We just see the difficulty. If you just uh, if you just make it very simple and you change everything, you will betray the piece. So it's all the time a conflict between that yeah. and you need to make decision. Mm -hmm. And let's say if you want to make a caricature, uh, when you are young and you, you do your first, you have the tendency to put too many everything. notes, yeah. to put yeah. everything, and after that, mm -hmm. you you put less. Uh, the only thing I did with uh, my student, actually now they do that with Antoine more, but before, uh, is, is I was asking them, begging them to cut some notes sometimes, mm -hmm. because they, it was yes. really like when you take a kidney <laughs> to somebody, you know? Yeah. Uh, I remember, uh, uh, I can, can say, say uh, yes, yes, one, one example. example. He won't, he will be totally fine if I say, but uh, it's, actually, it's all, all about roasting. Rafael, <laughs> Rafael <laughs> Fayat, <laughs> when he was 20, <laughs> now he's, uh, uh, he, he, he did uh, Valses po uh, Vals Poeticos by Granada. Yeah, that he played and, in GFA. Actually. Yeah, he played in GFA. Yeah. And G it was very difficult what he played in GFA, but at the beginning, it was, it was even more difficult. And I remember each time I was trying to tell cut. him to <laughs> cut one note, it was really very difficult. Yeah, it's like okay. you take a kidney, really. Yes. You know? <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, and so, so it's, it's interesting to see. Uh, and in fact, so the old transcription, you know, like Liobet, Tarrega, Barrios, they really try to they try to keep a certain type of spirit yeah but they they change a lot of things mm -hmm. and after that they were like uh, the, this generation of, of russell and barrico uh, who did something much more s closer and playable and after that it became more and more and more difficult mm -hmm. of course there were some if we talk about transcription we need to talk about kazuto yamashita it's mm -hmm. impossible yes. to not talk about him <laughs> yeah, yeah. because he, yeah. he, he also totally changed the standard of what it's mm -hmm. possible except that most of his, trans uh, his transcriptions are, are just playable by him and yeah. still playable by him. I mean, mm -hmm. there are some people who are doing uh, uh, Marco Topshi is doing this. There is mm -hmm. this guy from Peru, Cavaliero, Jorge Cavaliero is playing the same transcription. Yeah. But let's say that it's still very exceptional. So mm -hmm. you have all the time this. And me, I have changed my mind a lot. I remember at the beginning, I really like a lot uh, David, uh, David Russell and Manuel Barrico. And after that, I like less because my son, they were doing some stuff a little bit more complex. And now I'm back a little bit to okay. what they do, mm -hmm. uh, including my own, the, the stuff I play are coming from them because I think it's a very good compromise between the, the two points you say in English that I can't really repeat. <laughs> L'esprit mm -hmm. et la lettre. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You that you that you did also a lot of arrangements. Uh, I feel that sometimes, I mean, this is just personal opinion, but uh, I, I think it's a bit like this. Sometimes when I arrange, I feel that even though we want to keep to be the most authentic possible with the score, uh, sometimes by trying to play all the notes, we actually lose a bit the message Absolutely. because it becomes uh, too difficult. And, and this is what uh, sometimes I feel there's th that could be a problem in the newer generation. So in the sense that, of course, you want to keep all the notes. But for instance, if, the, if we're talking about a piece that is very legato, you know, it's supposed to sound easy, it's supposed to sound fluid, mm -hmm. and then you try to play all the notes, you know, with the right octave as and, well. And it doesn't sound the, doesn't the, the sound same fluid. way. So in that yeah. sense, maybe sometimes mm -hmm. I would, uh, I think taking out some notes, is, yeah. uh, I don't know if you identify yourself with this situation. When well, it's arrange. it's a constant conflict. I mean, yeah. but I have to keep in mind that a mistake will always, always be more noticeable than if you take out one note, <laughs> yes, exactly. so, so you, smart thinking, man. we have to, we have to keep that in mind. Yeah. And you have modern to keep the, the, the results, the sound of a chord, even a chord doesn't sound the, the same way for, yeah, piano, for the guitar and, and then piano. Sometimes yeah. you have to listen different versions of it is, and to, okay, this note sound louder. It's open the, the chords. Uh, you see that a lot in the piano, right? So yeah. like he, even even Telesco, when he writes original pieces, if you see the Caprices of Goya, uh, he writes original pieces, and a lot of times he writes everything on thirds, very low register. Mm -hmm. It really sounds bad on guitar, and sometimes I, yeah. I feel that like sometimes changing it to make a tenth, you know, an interval, can really, uh, I haven't looked, unless there's crossing, of course, but yeah. sometimes that really helps. I don't know if you feel the same. When you yeah, yeah. Caprices. yeah you, I mean, there is... We have to test at one point. We have to play <laughs> yeah. it. Sometimes you do, you do transcriptions, and then you have to realize if it fits if it fits into your your 
your fingers and uh, the way yeah. you play. So, uh, but it really yeah. depends of the per, per, f of the person. For example, uh, you you had you used to be a student of uh, Carlo yes. Marchion, and Carlo will do a lot on himself, a lot of transcription. Again, he won't choose the very famous piece, but he will choose the piece mm -hmm. that he think work for the guitar. And the way we'll solve the problem is also very linked with how he feels the music. Of course, he has a lot of knowledge for sure, and Carlo mm -hmm. in particular, but he will solve with his own artistic quality. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you have some stuff which are even very difficult to understand. For example, Roland Diaz yeah. wanted to keep anyway the tonality of the piece, even if, if it was super difficult. And for him, it was incredibly important. I don't mm -hmm. think he had this kind of color, you know, you. you the fact that uh, with D the major, yeah, yes. okay. I, it was I don't think, this. I mean, I never, I never talk about that, but yeah. for him, he would keep all the time the tonality okay. of the piece, even if sometimes it was very, very, very difficult. What for you? you I think? guess because for him, it was very important. I guess he heard different colors. I mean, not colors, uh, yeah. green, uh, yeah. but I, me, for example, if I hear fa fa mineur, I, I hear different color than do mineur. But okay. if a piece is in do mineur, I can play in fa mineur, I won't be necessarily disturbed. I guess for him, it was a very it was something very important does, does it uh, seem different for piano and other instruments or just for the guitar no i think it's a, it's the same it's the same thing for an instrument i mean you you mean this tonality colors i mean it depends for me i really hear different colors depending on the tonality some people who are amazing musicians they don't care at, at all about that i mean a min a minor uh, f minor it's Mm -hmm. sounds the same and they are amazing players so it's not linked for me it doesn't sound the same but i don't mind so much and some people it, they really mind a lot i don't yeah. know for, i like the way the, the ear is constructed is uh, yeah the change yeah but it's not just linked with the, i was yeah. thinking that i like f minor because it's linked with the guitar because there is less open string than a minor but actually on the piano it's the same thing i like okay. more f minor than a minor on the mm -hmm. piano it's the same thing so i don't know i can't really explain I think we have to move on. No? Yes. Yeah. So I guess we can go with the social uh, media uh, conversation. Uh, so yeah, times are changing, uh, I believe, and um, I think all of us think that. And um, I believe that uh, each day more, uh, the impact of social media in each artist's career is really uh, making a difference uh, to his success and uh, to his uh, projection. And uh, what I would like uh to ask here is your intake on it and for instance if you uh encourage your students to also go pursue a bit that social media projection i mean i am i encourage but with a huge invitation is myself are very incompetent <laughs> so <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't need <laughs> this actually I was I'm, yeah. I'm very incompetent on that <laughs> uh i could learn probably i'm probably not too old to learn that but uh, maybe you uh, don't need it <laughs> No, it's not. Uh, I mean, there are some people who are ten times more famous than me, and uh, and they do it, yeah. and they probably they need it also. It's not the point. It's just uh, I arrived to the music for some stuff, and it wasn't part of the game. Mm -hmm. So that that's all. It's not a, a moral uh, judgment. It's just I like it because of that, and mm -hmm. this didn't exist, and I don't necessarily want to change that. Uh, I do, let's say, the minimum, mm -hmm. uh, but so I'm not, uh, you know, it's like uh, when you have kids and you say, oh, please read and the parents don't read. So <laughs> normally the, yes. the kid won't read, you know. Yeah. So I, 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 uh, I must say that uh, I really noticed that a, a lot of my students, they don't spend so much time on the social media. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing i guess that might be a little bit of link with which teacher i mean there's some people who are making more stuff on social media so maybe the people who are more into it they will go more i mean there's a lot of stuff like this which mm -hmm. has invisible and unconscious that happen so i think it's totally necessary i don't think it's it's bad or good i think it's just very natural i mean i must say that uh, uh for example it's just something i really realize now you have a lot of player like lang lang who are doing a lot of faces. Mm -hmm. I say Lang Lang because he's the most famous, but you have tons of people. Faces and, uh, when they play. Faces when they yeah. play. Okay. To and show I'm, I'm to pretty, a big I'm audience. I'm pretty sure it's linked with the 
the fact that everybody is filming and it's on the social media. Mm. Because I remember on the past, it was really considered, I mean, on the past, okay. past before me. Yeah. I mean, if you see people, uh, uh, Wittstein, Eisfeld, those guys, I mean, of course, you have Glenn Good, you have Van but it's more like uh, this kind of thing. Yeah. But the other, they don't show anything in their face. And I have the feeling that it was kind of vulgar or impolite mm -hmm. for them. Mm. I'm pretty sure mm. they, they were this dimension. Because when you see all those players who, who are all dead now, they don't show a, a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, the cellist a little bit. But when you were studying, were you also encouraged to not make faces? Yeah, in your generation? kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm much younger than Rubinstein, but... But, but uh, yes. So, and now you have a lot of people who, who will do more faces. And I'm sure mm -hmm. it's... And I'm sure nobody decides, okay, I'm going... I mean, maybe some people decide, but I would say the majority doesn't decide Mm -hmm. they will make noise it's just it's like this and it's not linked with the music but tennis player man tennis player they do so much more noise than on the past yeah yeah i, I hmm. realized this <laughs> today I, yes. it was yes. seen uh, yes. ah. yeah you much couldn't more. do it but it much was not more. the same sport i think that's related with uh, social media or with filming <laughs> 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 no but I, I think somehow that's what you're trying to say here right? <laughs> it's the society it's, it's not linked with the <laughs> social media but yeah. it's probably linked with the fact that uh, people are uh, are more open to show their own emotion yeah let's yes, say yes. Mm -hmm. which is positive mm -hmm. in a lot of aspect but for the music i mean for example long long for me is very i mean i i heard some stuff which are kind of nice i mm -hmm. mean nice even but when i see i have the feeling that i have subtitles you know yeah uh, <laughs> do you know, know where do you have to yes. cry and oh you know <laughs> when, when you when you see a movie and you have the audio description for, <laughs> the, for the people who can't uh, yeah. listen no. and you have he opened the door and the door make a noise yeah you have some <laughs> real music left. you have description for the people who yeah. can hear and yeah. when i see him i have the feeling this is exactly this audio description so if oh. you don't know what's happening with the music when it's sad uh, like this but it, so it could go right? comes to from theater or uh, opera i mean they have to have bigger big audience and they had to show emotions yes. to the to the but further the video, they could yeah the video. but the video in some ways yeah i, I think it's it's uh, you're Maybe right it's but it could be yeah. yeah it could be too uh, the, the the fact of hav having um, social media you can film very close to you and in a way you can just not uh, act more than you would do naturally because y the camera is close to your face mm -hmm. and you can decide which angle sorry which angle uh, is uh, is good and and you can modify some things and then you won't need to to make some faces in a way it could be this too i mean the yes. social media can allow you to to work on the image and not work on your face when you're playing but mm -hmm. but maybe you are more conscious about it because you're seeing yourself because you publish you edit yeah everything so you 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 see your your face every but time for, <laughs> for the audience it's really something very important it's really i have the feeling that it can help the audience mm -hmm. this i remember a long time ago that's what I was, sorry i didn't yeah, interrupt you but that's not what that's how, what i was going to say maybe because just i feel that sometimes because we are classical musicians we have to realize that the audience that is actually watching this maybe 80 or 90 percent is not at least except yeah. guitar festival maybe <laughs> 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 but uh, if we're talking about the concert 80 90 percent is not actually a musician so sometimes we play music that for us is kind of simple but that for the audience is still kind of yeah. complex sure. i do think that sometimes the facial expressions can help i don't know until what point maybe lang lang reflects on this I yeah don't <laughs> i don't know because this i think this could be a for us it's question. too much probably but for actually it's too much yeah. because we understand and we yeah. are musicians yeah. I guess. but so, I, yeah. actually uh, when i teach uh, uh, that's something I say pretty often that I, actually the way we move our body, hands, and I don't talk necessarily about face, shouldn't be in opposition of the music. I yes. always say that something mm -hmm. like this. It's something that comes a lot. But also, uh, I remember a long time ago, I gave a concert in Martinique, and the concert was in a movie theater. And for some reason, I don't know why, they decided to film me when I was playing. So I was in the, <laughs> in the big screen, <laughs> <laughs> but giant screen I was mm -hmm. playing and I, it was behind me. I didn't care because it was behind me. After the concert, everybody came and talked just about me on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so amazing. We could see you eyes and uh, they mm. didn't talk about how I was playing, but just about my face That's on the screen. And uh, <laughs> because I didn't see it, but they did this kind of stuff they, they used to do in the in the 70s in the movie, you know, like Brian De Palma, mm -hmm. you know, when you have uh, screen, uh, they were doing that on the 70s. So they mm. were doing this. 
Yeah. So when I was playing, so I, I guess I was appearing here and after that I was there and after that there were my eyes there. So, I mean, for to listen to music, it was probably the worst thing you can you can imagine. But to to have the feeling that you live an experience, it was great for the audience. I can tell you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mm. I have an important question actually. So because we're talking about the social media thing. I think I, I wanted Sorry. to ask. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I just for you. He's to good. <laughs> guess is good. Yeah. <laughs> just because ah. uh, you are so close, oh, yeah. the mic is so close there. So. Okay. No. Uh, because okay, yeah. Um, we already kind of stated that social media is important nowadays, and it has a big influence on the career. So, for instance, do you think that uh, for like young guitars uh, like us, it is? Would it? What would you think it would be the best? So, a player that actually has a lot of prizes or a lot of competitions won. Or someone that has a social media is very, say, very full social media and a lot of followers, and has a big projection on that field. I what mean, do you think I, is more I, important? I think now it becomes a little bit like this. I mean, competition were much more important, social media not, and uh, I don't know if the the line cross yet, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe or maybe Depends not. For but what, uh, yeah. it looks like yeah. that at some point it will the the, the two lines will cross. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, yes. Even for the very, very, very big competition, I mean, I don't talk about guitar, but I talk about Chopin, Tchaikovsky, mm -hmm. Van Cleber, and blah blah. Uh, the winner they have to do this, and when you see the former winner of the Chopin that happened, which four or five years I don't remember, they are all known, but there are some other who are who are more known. Yeah. They didn't necessarily do those competitions. Example: Yu Ya Wang, um, Lang Lang. I don't talk about Koenke because they are very good players also, yeah, yeah. but they didn't do those competitions and they are more famous than the former Chopin competition. Mm -hmm. Because Winner. of the social media. Because of together. social media, because of the power of China also in the case of Hong yeah. Kong, but also social media. Oh, in France, Katia, Katia Buniatishvili. Mm -hmm. uh, she played here as well. She, so she, she's yeah. probably more famous. I don't know if she will stay more famous than, uh, for example, uh, Alexandre Kantorov, the guy who won the Czechos, yeah. he was French. Mm, probably but is, maybe yeah. he will stay... Uh, she, she will stay forever more famous, uh, doing more or less the same repertory. I mean, they don't play the same pieces, but the same mm -hmm. type of repertory yeah. because she's also very powerful in the social media and so far is less. Maybe it will change because he's very young. She's a bit older, but still. Uh, now, when you think about former pro comp competitors, uh, Chopin winner, I mean, you have, for example, Christian Zimmerman who spent all his life to do like 20, 30 concerts a year who is doing no interview now is a little bit more open mm -hmm. now it would be just impossible somebody like this yeah. or even the most famous pianist of the 20th century uh, probably at uh, Orovitz who stopped to do concert during 12 years and after that when he came back they were like a huge queue in Cancio no, yeah. Yeah. I mean nobody and now if you disappear during 12 years you just disappear forever you know yeah. uh, so so the thing have changed uh, yeah. it's like this and some some uh, I mean in uh, other type or other uh, style of music they they look at the followers that you have actually yeah. uh i've i've talked to um, one of the uh, to olivier a guy from lead music in geneva he's uh, he has a shop of very great uh, electrical guitar and uh, other stuff and uh, he's a very good player and he told me yeah I, i've played with this this uh singer and she didn't have enough followers to to publish the second uh, album that she had and she had some some uh, she was famous before she had won i don't know i don't rem remember exactly but uh and they, they just said to, to her yeah we will publish the second uh, album if you reach uh, i don't know 20k uh, or oh, more yeah. I don't know. so maybe i i don't know if in, uh, for the guitar there mm. are some festivals that do this yes no. because we even thought uh, actually even discussed between us uh, for instance sometimes we uh, uh, we talk about the prices that these competitions bring to us and maybe actually instead of money or a concert or a concert in the next year's edition we actually thought that for instance a social media manager uh, for at least a contract for like one two years uh, we don't know yeah, yeah. would actually be a very useful uh, yes. price maybe even more than a lot of money what do you think about that yeah that uh, actually I never thought about that but I think you're totally true if if yeah. uh, if instead of uh, giving some concert, you, you give money to somebody who really take care of you in, in social stuff, mm -hmm. media, yes. Uh, but now I was thinking about the competition. Let's say that the, the last guitarist who emerged is Rafael Foyat. It's totally in link because he won some competition. Yeah. Uh, same with Thibaut Garcia. 
Yeah, but there there were others too that won competitions. But they yes, had some yes, maybe I mean, some, some something somehow that, they were a part of luck, they yeah. had their own talent because they are both a very specific talent. Mm -hmm. But still it was linked. I mean there are competition each year, so not everybody can sign for Warner or Dutch Gramophone. Yes. It, it's not possible technically. But it was a link with their own uh, with their own competition. But on the other hand, you have uh, some people who sign also for mm, very big uh, company. Mm -hmm. And it was linked directly from their followers. Yeah. So you have it's, the two It's quite things. new. Yes, actually. but yeah. it's quite new. Mm -hmm. But it will go it, maybe. It happened. Uh, yeah. So let's say that those two guys, it was really linked with their success in competition, really. Uh, because they they saw the video of them mm -hmm. playing. I mean, in the case of and Rafael, they have uh, uh, very a personality that you can, I mean, identify very mm, quickly. No, actually, know. both of them they were not specifically active in social media. No, but I mean the the way they 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 act and um, I don't I know, will, well, meeting them, yeah, they're, they're, they're charismatic. Okay, exactly. charisma yeah. on, on on stage, That's yes, exactly. But uh, in in the term how they act in. Uh, in social media no 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 that's what uh, now they are more active because they are they have a manager mm -hmm. but they, they, they were not like this uh, if you compare with uh, uh, for example two other people i'm thinking who were chosen linking strictly with the the social media thing yeah mm -hmm. so um let's say that uh, during many years it was very it was a, a very usual stuff to spit on uh, on competition Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's very problematic somehow how you can compare different musicians. Blah, blah. So you have for sure this kind of real question. Mm -hmm. But uh, for sure it's uh, potentially less unfair than when it works with social media. Except if you consider that be good in social media is the same type of quality and be a great artist, which I don't consider. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think, to be honest, that something I think a lot as a teacher is... Uh, I don't want uh, to give a bad example of uh, don't take care of social media. I think my students, they should do that. Mm -hmm. right. But so we encourage I, them to do it. I, 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 I encourage them to do that, the except <laughs> that I am very bad to encourage because I don't have any specific credibility because I'm bad myself. Mm. If I were good, they would see, oh, this is a great, well, well, okay, let's do like him. <laughs> but they, they just they even make fun when I post something because it looks all the time ugly and some of them <laughs> I won't say the name but they make fun because the, the color are never nice or whatever so yeah. <laughs> and, and for this show for example you are interested for a long time than us actually Seb and me and um, and Seb I know that's not something that you really like uh, doing you, you don't really feel the need of doing this if you were just you and but you you realize that maybe in a way you have to do it and how do you see the the effect on you and the way you work uh, for now even if it's not for that long i i've been posting very free very uh regularly recently for the past actually two months i would say i've been yeah. posting very regularly for the first time actually because of your suggestion <laughs> And uh, I'm just I'm not an expert of it, but I, I'm asking myself questions and yes, I try uh, great to stuff, do guys. Check it out. Uh, <laughs> even duo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and well, I, I I for me at this point, I, I have several projects that are going on. And I basically my my thought is I I don't want to neglect one aspect that could make a huge difference. And in in six months, if things aren't going the way that they could i don't want to say to myself ah oh, but i could have done this one more thing yeah, exactly. that 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 would that would have been so easy and so possible That's right. and and so despite the fact that it it's not the most pleasant thing to do it's it's such a such an essential aspect for for young artists that it, it really is a shame right? we can't because, neglect it uh it really is a shame because i mean i, I for me it's absolutely fine that, that someone doesn't identify themselves with doing social media i think mm -hmm. this, yeah. there shouldn't be a problem with it and their opportunities shouldn't depend on it mm -hmm. and the problem is that nowadays the communication is almost 90 percent or 95 percent done via social media and that's the problem so yeah to share content for people to watch you play and to see your activities you yeah, have to have social sometimes media. sometimes you yeah. even win a prize 
and the whole point sometimes is to actually just share it to, to show people. yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Not because thanks a good price you, you say thanks to many are and not even very good so yeah. it's because of that it's to share you know? exactly and then people see that you play there and that you and maybe they listen to something and they see okay it would be nice to have this guy playing a concert for me. You know? And a lot of people will will imagine that if you don't post anything, that you're not that you do, well, yeah. yeah, exactly. And that's how manipulative it is, the social media. And I completely understand that people don't don't feel identify themselves with it, but it is true that they kind of suffer from it. But, but maybe yeah. we can see some good aspects, uh, me, even creatively, for the for the guitar for uh, for our career, the way we practice, the way. We, yeah. I mean, it's it's good to have First, the reaction sometimes of the. Uh, let's let's say that the most followers for g classical guitar are classical guitarists yeah. uh, most of the time so yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> and uh and maybe it's interesting to know too their opinion about some Absolutely. things Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. it can be creative uh, i remember when the covid start i was in san francisco i was still teaching in san francisco and i had to replace uh, i don't want to say a mistake but i think it was viegas uh, Pablo Sanz Villegas mm -hmm. and he had to he had to do an online concert and he couldn't go because uh, of the COVID and me I could go because it was in LA so I could I could go by car mm -hmm. so they, they contact me one week before and they told me okay you have to do this concert online in uh, in Los Angeles and they start to ask me tons of stuff to do so this is how I create Instagram because they asked oh, me. Really? Yes, hmm. really. that's because, how. Uh, because they told me influencer. you need to post that, blah 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 blah, and they were asking more and more. So I told them just send me a paper with what I have to do, and I will do it. You know? Yeah. So they sent me this. I create my Instagram, blah, blah blah, and after that I had to do. You know, I had like six hours, seven hours drive, and they told me to do like each hours, two hours to stop and say, oh, I'm so glad to go to the concert, blah, blah, blah. Wow. So I was stopping in the middle of the road and <laughs> and uh, and uh, we we're doing a video and after that, you know, and yeah, this yeah. stuff. And for me, it was very new. And uh, actually, the, this, this guy Viegas is really into, into this. Uh, he's doing this. So I, I no, had to do he's what an influencer. I had to do uh, what, what he has to do, do uh, yeah. normally, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, it was very interesting. But I, same thing. Uh, I think it's totally necessary and uh, to do it uh, because if you want to have a, if you have a management and you don't do anything it, you, you will lose it for sure yeah now that's how it happened but again for me I didn't sign for that yeah uh, I mean I signed for that it, for this no. concert so I did it but for me you know I'm very open I can talk yeah. with people so. I like to give concert but this it's it's a little bit too much. I mean, I have my own limitations, which are way beyond stopping each two hours to do in the middle of the road and say, yeah. I'm so glad to go to this concert. But in fact, we have to. to and I wasn't so glad because it was an online concert. So I was not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was even. Uh, that's why probably they asked you as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so even the guitar legend, Judy Calperro, is forced to do. Uh, social yeah, media, yeah so, exactly. Uh, yeah. No, no, but <laughs> it, uh, yeah, I think it's very difficult to avoid. I mean, you, you see some people. Uh, I, I would talk again about piano player, but you know. You can see Trifonov. Everything he's doing on social media, it look it looks like force, really. Mm. Because when you see a little bit his interview, his personality, you can see that it doesn't fit him, but it still is doing that. Yeah. And you can he's doing that pretty poorly because you can see that it's very he's not into that. He's not he natural. doesn't feel comfortable. Uh, uh, but he has to do that. I mean the only people who can totally escape from that that the so total established artists, mm -hmm. you know. So cool off. Uh, if John Williams decide to do again concert, he won't have to do that. He will play some no. concert in England. It would be full, you know, even if he doesn't do anything. I mean, some people super established, they can do whatever they want, you know. No. Uh, but except that, everybody is more forced to do something. And, and and it's fine. I mean, after that, you need to adapt yourself of what you can accept, what you don't accept. No. And each person has his own limitation. And that's fine. Even you just before social media, yeah. you had to, to yes. try to find concerts. Actually. You just have to do it you have yourself, to, basically. You have to spend so much time into yeah. looking for concerts opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Maybe third. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, at least a, a easy and non-paid of, yeah. of doing yeah. it. Yeah. So at least you have to uh, do many jobs so. actually yeah, yeah. as a musician yes. yeah. today. Yeah, yeah. so... Uh, still related with competitions because uh, I was, uh, I think I was with you when you said um, uh, something quite interesting for me, which was like, uh, I think it's the first time, this is what you, if I'm not wrong, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I think you said 
I think it's the first time that I have such a great guitar class here in uh, No, I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For sure not. Okay, but I think it's the first time that I have a lot of great students who yeah. are actually not interested in doing competitions. Yes. And That's about ah, yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. For, all the, sorry all for all the students from the past. But I told you to correct me. So, yeah. Yeah. So, it's the first time. And why do you think that is, actually? I don't know, but it's true that I have, <laughs> I have, I have for the first time in my life, I have a lot of students who could do competition with great chances of success and they don't necessarily want to do it. Mm -hmm. It just happened. I guess it just happened. Uh, I, I, all the time I had some very good student who, who, who were not doing competition because it was their choice because they didn't want to do that. I had tons of them and. Tons, tons. When I say tons, it's really tons, and it's very important. <laughs> it's really, no, but it's very important to know. <laughs> it's super important to know yeah. that uh, it's not necessarily the best who are doing competition, and it's not the worst who are not doing competition. But still, uh, in this class, I have a lot of people who do competition, but a lot they don't do, and it's probably more people who don't do who could do it than any time I had in my class. And for instance, I don't know. Maybe do you think that might be related with the things that you were speaking of? That, for instance. Winning a competition nowadays necessarily. No, I think it's. Uh, and some of the competitions are very poorly organized. I think actually. it comes the from uh, Switzerland. Uh, Switzerland is a two peaceful country, <laughs> so <laughs> some people it's don't want peace. people <laughs> don't uh, people don't want to fight yeah. for their life. You know, you yeah. know, you know. There is this uh, yeah, very famous page. movie, uh, The Third Man. You know this movie, The Third Man. The music is very famous. It's a movie, it I think, from the 50s. And there is this guy Orson Welles, who is the main character. Of, uh, he's a very famous director. He's the guy who did yeah. Citizen Kane. Mm -hmm. But he's, ah. the, he's, he's, he's the actor. And he say about, there is a very famous sentence talking about Switzerland. He say that, oh, you know, in Italy, we had the Borgia, they were killing themselves and Michelangelo, blah, blah, those guys came. And in Switzerland, 500 years of peace and what they create, the cuckoo clock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not my joke, I would, uh, you know, but it's a very yeah, famous uh, stuff from the movie. But maybe it comes from that. I mean, the lake creates a very peaceful atmosphere. Uh, and nobody wants to, the to leave the mountains. Yeah, yeah, and they exactly, don't want exactly. to do competition. Yeah, and the, the people actually, they, they are more no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I guess it just happened like this. And, and I have like uh, also some, uh, some very... Uh, uh, char charismatic students who don't do competition and maybe uh, they, 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 they give the influence that life is possible without maybe something. And there are them. actually there are competitions that uh, uh, make a lot of promises and uh, promises. Yeah. 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 So and in fact, uh, you can see after that the concert they organize, they, they are very poorly paid. Uh, sometimes they don't pay you in t on time. I mean, we have plenty of right. experiences like this. So maybe yes, yes. people uh, tend to realize, uh, I mean, uh, I, I know a lot of people that has this feeling. Uh, that's for what? I mean, you do competitions and then what? If you don't do anything like sir, looking for a concert mm. or trying to organize it, uh, you will lose the the bonus of uh, winning a competition. You, If you for think sure. that winning the competition is enough, Maybe it's cool for the resume, for the CV, but then uh, if you don't do anything with it... This generation, it's, yeah. that's different, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, for sure. I mean, uh, in the guitar, I think they were in the history just one competition that really helped, mm -hmm. for sure, in in, uh, to make a career was the Radio France competition. Yeah. And you had Aussel, Pierry, Diabreu, tons of Pavel Steidl, I mean, tons of, of people, Costioli, who won this competition, Oscar Caceres, Alberto Ponce, mm -hmm. and they all made the career based on, on this just competition. This, yeah. And uh, Vladimir Mikulka, even some people uh, escaped from their own country when it was communist in East of Europe because they won this competition. Wow. And it was on the ra radio, Radio France. So mm -hmm. they were playing concerto in the major orchestra in the world. It's, and they were playing for all the national radio. It was related to, related to the radio, actually. To the radio so and the, the national radio. Yeah. It, it stopped, I think, in... 80 or 90 something. The, the last winner is Tania Chagnon, actually, okay. a French uh, guitarist mm -hmm. and very good teacher. But it was the only competition that really exists that kind of guarantee a little bit for sure competition. I would say after that, the second would be probably GFA. But uh, even if you win GFA, sometimes you it doesn't you won't, it doesn't guarantee, but yeah. it helps. Still yeah, it, it helps, helps a lot. Exactly. It helps yeah. a lot. But uh, uh, th they were the two big competition that really helped for a career mm. the other they can help but i mean 
you have to win yeah, a lot there are of... more and more competition. I mean, in more. in the class, we have Marco Topshi. He's doing a lot of concerts. Good for him, but he won also. I see. He, he, every... he was seventy five some years ago, so it might be ninety, maybe now. I mean, maybe you can ask him. So he's probably the one who knows the more about guitar. Competition. He knows every competition. Yes. Yeah, he won. Uh, every yes. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So uh, we actually uh, have to finish the questions, but uh, we have one uh, last uh, question. Just uh, is there any specific advice you would give uh, to young guitarists taking account of all we've talked about the, dif the difference between generations and uh, how the guitar world is developing do you have any specific advice to, to give to young guitarists uh, to be honest if i have this question i should say i have a specific advice but i really don't have to be honest i, I don't <laughs> okay. have any i'm Fair too enough. young to have specific advice okay well yeah, sorry you look very young. <laughs> <laughs> well then uh, I think we have to move on yeah, to the on. performance. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. That's okay. Right. A relaxed performance. Yeah, relax. You. It's just okay. chill. <laughs> so we have to to make some. I stay here, no? Wait. But... Okay. So you okay. can play whatever you want. So okay, you I will play something not... I mean, I shouldn't say it's not too difficult because maybe I will not play it. <laughs> yeah, don't put pressure. It shouldn't be too difficult because actually I was playing this piece when I was 11, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's, it's too old. Did I you play it uh, since? Or? No. <laughs> actually, is the... Is, uh, last year I learned uh, the suite for cello, which was called number three for lute and guitar. And it's, it's interesting because... Uh, I learned this movement when I was 11, precisely. This and the first part of the, the gavotte number two, because I didn't have the rest of the, the piece. <laughs> so I just learned the first three pages. You didn't have this, course. this, the prelude when I was 14. And this was a side reading when I was 12. Okay. Yes. So I, it's I, I learned, piece. Like, like my it's a good said. side read piece, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and last year I was 49 and I finally I finished to learn the rest of the movement. <laughs> and actually somehow the, the gavotte was a little bit difficult because I wanted to so much to keep the fingering I used to do when I was 11. Because I remember the piece, all the pieces wow. I learned before 14 I remember. And, uh, That's amazing. and, and for the other pieces I... It was okay because the, the this um, most of the fingering were okay even if I was 14. Just the, the slurs they were not at the proper place, and uh, this was very difficult. And sometime when I played, I I switched to my old fingering, <laughs> and and I start to panic when I do that because I have some fingering very stable. And sometime if I lose concentration, I will do the fingering when I was 11. You have and such a good, I good start memory that you can be 11 and uh, 50 years exactly. old. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and when I will be very old, I will become again three years old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's listen. Uh, okay, no, let's no, go. No, please. Okay, I play that. <laughs> uh, I can start? Yeah, yeah. Okay.
So yeah, seriously, guys. Yeah. To do the, the change. Uh, do you want? Uh, okay. okay. Thanks, Seb. Yeah, so it's very nice to to hear you for this <laughs> close. I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. it's up for everyone. Yeah, yeah that's Thank not happened that I, usually. I hope the neighbors don't feel the same. <laughs> 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 we will see if they come. It was, that was like feel the same. same. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, it was it was quick enough to <laughs> yeah. to make not them go away. Yeah. So then we have. I don't recall. We actually have a game for you. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. We prepared a little game. Oh, ah, what? A little yeah. game. Since you I are can uh, do it. You can do it, okay. but you <laughs> asked us not to tell you anything about it. So oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I remember anything. We will test your piano knowledge, Judika. Am I? Might. I'm sh <laughs> 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 okay. Who's playing or which piece? It can be both. It, it can be uh, is difficult. the composer. composer? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the name of the piece. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but it's a okay. friendly yeah. quiz. Okay. Very yeah. friendly quiz. Mi do In fact, we have no doubt that you will uh, recognize it. Okay, let's see. I will try. Yeah, you turn. Good translation. There any sound? Yes. Is it on? Here? Here? Yes. yes. Yeah, it's on. I have, I have, I have to. Come. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, so right it, just, it should have wait, continue. Wait, we, we right wanted, enough, yeah, wait, wait, so wait. But who, who is playing? Who's playing you? Yeah. Yes. Well, that's going to might be difficult. And in okay. fact, we wanted to cut very fast. So yeah, <laughs> <it does. laughs> yeah. let's. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Without this technical issue. <laughs> this was the warm up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah this was I, the warm -up. it was right. So up. maybe we could descend more if you want to guess the. Yeah, because now I just sit down. It will, be, it will be a guess. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. No, I mean. Maybe you you, 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 you can try. I mean the. F the I need to hear the the, 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 the voice coming. To see okay. How the voice is Maybe coming. Maybe you can. A little bit more. Maybe. No. So I know. This one I we made know. it on purpose. It's not what. I don't know. <laughs> You're not it's a big fan. fan. This is Yuja Wong. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I saw her two times in concert. Oh, okay. so playing this piece? How was it? No, not playing. It was nice, actually. Yeah. The only thing that wasn't fair is, uh, she said the two times, it was two months uh, separate, one time in New York, one time in San Francisco, and they said that the program would be to be announced and could be improvised, and the two times it was the same program. <laughs> so, so it wasn't so much improvised. It was a bit fake. Yes, yes, and it was yeah. in the same order also. Oh, so yeah, okay. it's, they, they say the program will be announced, blah, 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 it will be kind of did, free. Did she look like she were... Mm, <laughs> no, 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 she, <laughs> not, uh, she looked very sure, sure of us. Okay, She's okay. very sure of us. All right, next. Next one, okay. Sorry? But the f way we wanted to make it very quick, but uh, we... My we plan was to yeah. put the first note, note yeah. only. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to see if you can recognize it. Okay. Okay, I'm your clavier. Nice. Yeah. Pretty fast too. Okay, let's turn to you. Okay. Fuga. Fuga from Amar Clavier. Nice. And now who's playing maybe? Uh -oh. Maybe with the noise we hear, you can hear the time. movement <laughs> <laughs> i think it would be yeah, difficult it's because no, it's a uh, playlist yeah, 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 it would yeah be, it would it's be a guess yeah but i mean we we wanted to to push the the limit even further because we be because we know that you know so much yes you, guess you can easy. guess actually you. you can no, try it. I, I, it would be a guess uh, so I, I i don't know okay okay fair. okay fair enough. this was uh, uh, an advice from natalia actually yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's an advice we we wanted to to, is it the to drama change <laughs> No, it was it the gramophone? Uh, it's Richter. Oh, okay. But it doesn't look like a live, from um, what I heard. 
it's live for sure, but uh, it is not studio. Yeah, we yeah. decided. But I didn't hear the noise of the live, so okay. I wouldn't yeah, have guessed. Okay. And the recording is a bit uh, yeah, yes. can, noisy. Oh. Okay. Is it working? Yeah. Okay, yes. this sonata for sure. Yeah. Okay. Very yeah. fast. You do want the bonus of guessing the. No, <laughs> it's totally <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at least was the founder of the school. Actually, yeah. In Geneva. In Geneva. Yeah. Yeah, the conservatoire. Of the conservatoire. He was, he was super, of course, super successful and, and very rich. And he, he gave the money for this. He, he was doing a little bit like uh, the, the mesen, American okay. mesen is doing. Uh, uh, and he had like an amazing collection of piano. I visited his, uh, his museum, which was his house in Budapest. And he has like piano. And the piano are done with the most expensive wood or whatever yeah. by present from okay. directors. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes. This Tomania, this was uh, one yes. of the, the Beatles before. And actually the guitarists, they can play uh, the, the, the exam in Budapest Conservatory uh, happened in, in the, literally in the least house because he had a, a nice salon for 200 people. And this is where the early music and the guitar exam happened okay. oh, nice. in uh, Budapest Conservatory. Nice. You have bonuses for the quiz. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's extra points. Yeah. yeah. Next one. Ah, uh, Schubert. Schubert. Last uh, sonata. Ah, no, no, no. But this is Schubert. Yes, last sonata, first movement. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Wow. And probably. Wow. Uh, exactly. the, 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 I did, is the, is the, the end of the first, uh, the first part of the first part of the first movement. So it could be after five minutes or ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is, is precisely getting... after nine minutes and forty seconds. Oh wow! You yeah. see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is showing off. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no, that's the point of the quiz. Nice. Do you want to try to guess who's playing? No, nah, it's, a, it's, it's too difficult. It's like all the, all the rest <laughs> is so easy. So <laughs> okay. Let's put another one. Oh, no, no, I don't want to put the beginning. Okay. Shit, I know. Ah, yeah, Sonata number eight by Prokofiev. Yes, that is correct. Also. <laughs> this is fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 100%. that is the end of our quiz. Okay, so I was good. Yeah, you, yes. you were good. <laughs> After the question you m we made about the piano, you had to be good. But I now, told you that she's the performance. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's, uh, that's yes. great. I actually, I heard playing this in concert, very good version when, when I was probably 20. Ashkenazi, Vladimir Ashkenazi. He just retired from playing the piano maybe five, three years ago. And he's still doing few recordings. He's playing Bach mainly. And, and the last year he was mostly a, a conductor. Then. But he, he was also an amazing pianist when he was very young. And after that, he, he became more known as a conductor. But he was a really amazing pianist. Nice. We wow. have um, a Q&A with some questions from the, the viewers and the, our followers, the ones that have been they have been asking this for the last uh, two weeks, actually. So okay. let's do this Q&A. So we have a lot of questions. Um, I'll do first a question that is that it was related to the first topic that we, we were talking, transcriptions. And someone asked if you have this specific piece that you would like to transcribe in the in the future. Would you make transcribe? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By some For people some there. <laughs> ah, that's funny because if I was thinking of something, but I forgot. Uh, hmm. It doesn't come. If I come, I will yeah. go get. You're not working I, specifically I, on it. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Not for sure. Uh, but I, I was I was really thinking of about one piece, but I don't even remember the composer. But I was thinking this piece would work. It will come after the the podcast, maybe. Maybe we will post. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will. Post I was thinking really about one piece. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. And then another question related to the second topic, mm -hmm. that it was, um, do you think it is more important now to have more followers or to be actually good? <laughs> <laughs> to have a career, I mean. To uh, have a I career, guess, yes, yeah. I suppose. Uh, to have concerts. I mean, no, for sure to have more followers, there's no doubt. I mean, in fact, yes, for, for sure, this. After that, uh, it's possible to combine both, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there is this, the two French movies who had the greatest success in France, uh, Anatomy du Chute, yeah. and uh, the one uh, with the, the, the kind of science fiction movie of people, they, they, they change in animals. Uh, I, I didn't see it. Le Reign Animal. Le Reign Animal. Le Reign yes. animal. Yeah. So two movies that had a great success, and they have a great success, and they will have less people than uh, Bienvenue chez I mean, the biggest comedy who had great success in France, it was 20 million. And those yeah. movies, they are more than 1 million, which mm -hmm. is really a lot yeah. for this kind of movie. And for now. because Yeah, and for now. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so it's, I think it's probably nicer to, to be the, the director of uh, Anatomy in Chine than Bienvenue chez Ch'ti. <laughs> I would choose this. Actually, <laughs> still on this topic, there is a, a question asking what's your favorite movie? Oh, yeah. oh Third Man. Third Man? Third. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so we, now we have to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have to watch it. It's in Vienna. It's a very it's a super okay. good movie. It's in black and white, but it's a very famous movie. Uh, and you yeah. like a lot. I mean, uh, I've been to your place and you like a lot. Kubrick, uh, actually, no, no? I mean, yeah, I have, I have a nice book. I mean, yeah. Kubrick is, is kind of easy to like because he didn't do so many movies, so yeah. it's kind of easy to have seen all the movies. And of course, who can't like Kubrick? I mean, some people who don't like him, they will say he's a cold director, but nobody will say he's a bad director. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, of course, I like Kubrick, I like a lot, uh, Ravel, I like Kubrick, but they're not my favorite. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry, Ravel. <laughs> <laughs> Another question. It's uh, you have so many beautiful guitars. Why do you always play your concerts with the small man? <laughs> <laughs> that no. is an interesting I mean, question. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm super so rich. So I have question. a lot of amazing guitars. No, I don't have so many uh, guitars first. Uh, 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 how many? Uh, no, how many? They are in the bank, yeah, I mean, yeah, most yeah. of them. Uh, no, I don't, I, I don't have so many guitars. Uh, to be honest, I did when I was uh, 20, 25, I, I had no interest about the guitars by itself. I was just having a guitar and playing with it. And uh, when I was in San Francisco, uh, we were lucky to, to have like a, a John Harris Foundation. It was a place, a, a rich guy who like, I mean, a, yeah, rich guy who like a lot of guitar. And yeah, we had a lot of guitar from him that he offered to the concert so that's how i start to get in and um so i i bought some guitar for example i have one dominic field but i know dominic field since i'm 13 or 14. he wasn't oh, wow. uh, very famous at this time as a as a yeah. guitar maker and yeah. me i was uh, of course a, a young uh, teenager and and his guitar are very 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 good and i really wanted to have one of of his for a very long time and uh Thanks to my, my work, okay, let's be open. But thanks to my work in, in San Francisco, I was able to buy <laughs> <laughs> my teaching job in San Francisco. I was able to buy uh, the, 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 the Dominic Field. So I really like those guitars. I play the guitar very uh, a lot. Uh, the, the thing is that the, the small man give me a little bit more comfort if I play in a hall that I don't really know because it's louder mm. than, uh, than traditional guitar. But I would say, except um this guitar all the other guitar are very traditional uh my my, my, my natalia minskaya who is my 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 wife she play a uh, matthias daman guitar okay mm -hmm. yeah so it's the fact is it's very loud and uh, so no as fragile as the tra tra tradition uh, guitars it's i mean it's very for convenient for chamber ch yeah. for chamber music it's very convenient Mm -hmm. And in some hall, it's very convenient. But also, same thing, it's not a necessity. It, it's really all the time you choose something. So you have something and you lose something else. Yeah. I, I did this choice I, at some time of, of my life, and I keep this choice. Uh, a lot of people don't do the same choice, including mm -hmm. my, my students. Most of my students, they don't play with that. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Okay. Wow. Thank you. This is an interesting one. I also want to hear the answer. Have you ever fly a plane or a motorbike? Huh? 
Have you ever fly the plane? A plane, yes, a plane one time. Yeah, With you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, have to, you have to. It's not an thing. Yeah, yeah I, should, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say the name of the guy who let me fly because he could have fired me. As no, a, because he has a real job now. So. Yeah, he has a real job. He could have. He couldn't have problem because he. He was uh, in charge. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if he were not in charge, I won't be there to answer the question. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, I did, I did that motorbike, of course. I never. Did. I I mean, of course, I never did. Oh, okay. Motorbike, you know. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, motorbike. You, you I mean, mean uh, moto. Yeah, the normal stuff. Yeah, I think. I did. Uh, what do you call? It? You know, Vespa. You Vespa, know, the, the yeah, not motorbike, and but uh, you were riding it. You were. Yes, actually, conducting? it was the one of. Thibaut Covin. Oh, wow. And I oh. broke his uh, motorbike. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> yeah, it was the end. He borrowed me during one month and I I didn't know how to drive. At this time, it was possible to do it with a license yeah. and I hit a wall. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yes. He was confident to... Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, he wasn't there. Oh. He was starting to tour. And uh, he, because I was his teacher, he, he, he was forced to... For uh, his motorbike, and I crushed the motorbike after two weeks, I think. Yeah. And you yeah. never paid him back. Yeah, yeah of course I paid. <laughs> I paid. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's your favorite breakfast? No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you have to answer. No, I don't have. I don't have. You don't have one. Oh, yeah. It's Russian, for your students. Uh, Russian <laughs> pancake. Oh. Wow. It's what? What is a Russian pancake? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I was in San Francisco, there were uh, a place named is San Sandrion, Cinderella, and they were doing this kind of blinis, you know, oh. with uh, 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 sa uh, sour cream. You know, it's okay. not sweet; yeah. it's a little yeah. bit mm -hmm. like this. So I really like this. It's just for your students to know what to yes. bring you I mean, in the morning. One of these days, yeah. you're teaching. Uh, and some of them good luck for them to, to find that. <laughs> That's very specific. Actually, there, there, there is the, the, the I think there is the, the Stravinsky family in uh, in Geneva. Mm, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah I don't they're know. there. I never met yes, them. Yes, I think they're there. <laughs> and you can have yeah. breakfast there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, and there's this uh, last question that was made during the the live. Yeah. If you were a guitarist after finishing university, how would you start your musical career? If I were a guitarist after you finish, yeah, yeah. The okay. Diploma and stuff. How would you start your musical career? I mean, I think normally you can really start when you are in university. So I don't see necessarily the link to start when you finish university. I mean, most of the students they start during bachelor or master, so that's the thing. But so you would just continue. What yes, you continue. Mm -hmm. And oh, okay, I can say something. Maybe not. Maybe interesting is after uh, the university, a lot of students they have a, a depressed state. Really, okay. a lot. Uh, you know, in university everything is fine. You are not too. You, you know, you are in in the school. You have some other people who are doing the same thing than you. It can be stressful, but at the same time, it's very comfortable. Yeah. And when you finish, it's that like the real thing. life yeah. that start, and you start to be a little bit more isolated. Uh, you don't have class anymore, so you need to yeah. work by yourself. Blah, blah, blah. So you have a lot of things like this. So uh, my advice would be that uh, this should be prepared before, so people think about their musical career. Mm -hmm. Uh, very very soon after they enter bachelor usually they enter bachelor kind of young maybe first year second year they can be a bit relaxed but after that they should think a lot in particular because in most of the school when you are in bachelor you go automatically in master yeah. and I think it would be nice if I mean to be honest I'm very happy to keep my student be, because I really like them all of them but I think it would be nice for people to think mm -hmm. if they want to keep doing the master with the same teacher or if they want to go to another country yeah. or if they want to do something and um, so I said that except for my own student <laughs> no, but I, 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 I really think that it's very important to think when you are a student and not just you don't think and you you do just even competition you don't think and suddenly you realize that you are not so young blah, 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 and after that you feel very bad so you have a lot of people who have this kind of depression I really noticed this. And the answer is maybe uh, to start to before to think yeah. to think about what you yeah. want, what could be a successful life. I mean, successful not necessarily in terms of money and concert, but w w when you feel fine with what you do yeah. musically and professionally. Now yeah. that is a very good advice. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that advice. Yeah. I, that's I, I am okay to give yeah. this advice, yeah. but I, I, I hate the idea of uh, you know I'm going to give you an advice. You know, life is difficult. <laughs> <or> <laughs> science is part of the music or this kind of crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I guess the answer is be... maybe in the first oh. part we talked about the first questions about making competitions. Yeah. I mean, yeah. when you start something, it would be competitions trying to find concerts trying to I mean, you need to decide also what yeah. you want to do i mean some people really i mean some people don't don't want to tour i mean when you are young uh, you are supposed to like to tour to give concerts and to do competition yeah. it's very difficult if you to admit that you don't like like don't that. this life yes i mean this life is very specific you know yeah. you travel you need to to be nice with some people, you are uh, nice to alone. talk well, alone. alone. Yeah, alone. A lot of people yeah. don't like this, yeah. except that uh, it's difficult to admit you don't like that mm -hmm. because you are supposed to like that. It, you, it's supposed to be amazing. I mean, yeah. me, for example, I was kind of OK. I mean, I like the idea of traveling a little bit. Uh, and, you know, it was slow when uh, the thing happened, so it was OK. But uh, I know a lot of people really don't like to do this. Yeah. So if they don't like to do this, they, they, they should recognize that for them and see what they can do. I mean, you can teach, you can do even stuff at home, or you can uh, don't do concert and express yourself starting a new instrument. I mean, there's a lot of things you can mm -hmm. do. Yeah. So, yes. All right. Interesting. We have just a, one more question that just oh, came nice. up. Nice. Is, uh, do you have any tip to focus before performance? Oh. I mean, you do, you, do you think about it because you... No, me, you I played, don't do that. Yeah. You just, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. just played. <laughs> From what we saw, you don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, me, I don't do that. I mean, the, the thing is to know yourself enough to know what is the best routine for you. That's so the thing. And don't think about what are doing the other, but just think what could fit you. I mean, some people, they would need... The only thing I'm sure is... Uh, it's very bad when people start to play like crazy a lot because they can hurt themselves and i mean mm -hmm. it doesn't work like this uh you mean like right before the the performance the day of the, the concert day of the, when you yeah. start i mean uh, i say that in, because i really notice some people don't know that but most of the time the smoker they should stop smoking at least one or two hours before the performance uh, for, for the, the for, 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 for cigarette, cigarette. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's one, one thing, thing. Uh, uh, except, except that, that I mean it really depends, depends from one person to another person, person but it's to know exactly what is, what is the best routine, routine for you that's, that's very important, important. So, so if you, you want, want to arrive on time before that's, that's fine if you want to prefer me for example if it's not cold I prefer to arrive the latest possible 15 minutes before 10 minutes before I like for me it's much better for some other people it's not so you need to know exactly what fits you without thinking about what other people like or don't dislike you need to find your, your own stuff so there's no any specific tip of course it's better to avoid to take uh, coffee uh, i mean stuff that make you super nervous but some people they need to do that so there's not uh, absolutely a rule. cigarette is pretty bad okay it's very good for health in general, but for the mental, mental, yeah. mental yeah. okay. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Sorry, we need to. <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to it, yes. That's a good advice. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's all for the Q and A. We just have this last question, and this is from us. We will actually ask this to all of our guests. Very simple. What do you think you would be if you were not a musician? Me? For you, yeah. For you. Ah, yes, okay. Yes. I was thinking. For us, we don't care. <laughs> yeah. I guess I would like to teach something. Yeah. So teacher. Of anything in particular? No. Do, do you, no yeah, I mean, not something nothing. Oh, or lawyer. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lawyer. Yeah. What? Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean. Uh, I mean, oh, oh, the the meaning of a lawyer is also very different. If you say that from. Uh, Anglo-Saxon point of view, I mean like American, mm -hmm. uh, Canada, England, and if you say from a Latin country, it's also a very different aspect. I mean, you mm -hmm. have the same kind of lawyer. You can have business lawyer, this kind of thing, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's very different. Okay. Uh, so me, it would be more, uh, yeah, lawyer in the, the Latin country aspect. And uh, I, 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 basically, I wouldn't like to to try uh, to to do this kind of big action uh, against big company, but I would like to more to be uh, involved with people, okay. their own stuff. To help people. 
to help. I mean, yeah. yes, to help yeah. people. Not to, yes, to, 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 to sue not them. To no, no, no. <laughs> it can be to sue them. I mean, when you are a lawyer, <laughs> it, when you are a lawyer, yeah, you, yeah, can, you have to. You, you, yeah. You, yeah. It yeah. can be both. Yeah. But it would be linked with uh, with people. I mean, avocat penal. I don't know how you can say that. Uh, uh, in yeah. French. Uh, it's, uh, it's, not it's, business, but when you work, but. I don't yeah. know the, yeah, the name. It's very difficult. Uh, you know, for example, you, you 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 do something, you steal money on the bank, or you you do something wrong, and you need somebody to you kill somebody by mistake, and <laughs> you know. And you want to to no, help I those mean, guys. I mean, I I I, I really <laughs> think that uh, everybody uh, should have a, a lawyer, lawyer. Of course, yeah. I mean, this is what happened in all the democratic country, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel very fine with that. And uh, I think I it's possible to fight. Uh, some explanation and and uh, some way to to explain yeah what people did even the worst thing and did you even have even bad transcriptions possibly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, did you ever had this uh, this moment where you wondered if you were going to change yes uh, so of course yes, yes, yes. Uh, when was when <laughs> from uh, 17 to 20 when I stopped playing guitar I stopped okay. during two years, so during two years I was thinking I would do something. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. really? Uh, yes, 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 yeah, yes. I yeah. remember you, you yeah. told me this. So yes. And after yeah. it was. No, it was uh, it obvious. was uh, no 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 no. It was uh, until I realized that it was too late. <laughs> 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 But before I realized it was too late, it was until 25. I, I first it was really s when from 17 to 19 it was a real idea. After that it became became a bit more theoretical, and after that it became a fantasy. Okay. And now it's more uh, no, because okay. I I don't want to learn to do something Difference. from the beginning. Yeah, you like <laughs> what you do, and I like teaching. Yeah, but no. we we saw we saw we, yeah. <laughs> we saw that's uh, a yeah. different thing. Yeah. All right. That's yeah. all for today. Okay. Thank you so much, Jericho. Thank you, Jericho. Thank you. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. There, 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 yes. there, there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, and thanks to everyone who was watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Thanks. Thanks Say bye. All. Bye. 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 bye.